Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain. I'm sorry if you're expecting a regular breakdown video. This has to be a little bit different. And of course it has. We're talking about Kendrick Lamar. Okay, listen. When I come in, I want the pitch to be very low. And then gradually get higher. Just like the way I'm talking right now. Yes, I like that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so the next four fifths of the bar is gonna have a filter and be paying to the left. Never mind. I know where you stay, live that and where you hide. I know where you ride. Okay, now I'm gonna switch up the beats. Bruh, how you gonna do two bars and just hop to another beat like that? Because this beat isn't for talking. These drums are strictly for walking. Whatever now. At the end of this song, I want you to put Martin Luther King's I Have a Dream speech, but play it in Spanish. Kendrick came back from his hiatus of, what, four years since 2018 and dropped the hard part five. And my first impression is that there's honestly no contest. He must be the GOAT. I must be the greatest. That's why he's the GOAT. The GOAT. Little tangent. Basketball led me to hip hop and hip hop led me to Jay Dilla. But honestly, I don't think if it wasn't for discovering Kendrick Lamar around the same time on 2012, I don't think I'll be the hip hop fan I am today 10 years later. I truly believe that even if you hate hip hop with every fiber of your being, you still have to and you would still appreciate the nuance and the artistic vision of Kendrick Lamar. I'm gonna let other YouTubers do the whole hands breakdown and all the visual art uh, that he did around this record. And I'll just focus on the sample breakdown. The sample is I Want You by Marvin Gaye. And this track is quite nostalgic to me. I heard it for the first time on a Nike commercial celebrating LeBron's first ring in Miami. The Miami Heat have won the 2012 NBA Champion. What a commercial, right? So I was super excited when I heard the hard part five because when it got to the chorus, I noticed the sample. But Kendrick didn't really use the sample. If he had just replayed a loop from the sample, I, can't, I wouldn't be able to justify making a whole video about it. But what he did was considerably more creative. The tempo of Kendrick Lamar's The Hard Part Five and Marvin Gaye's I Want You are quite similar, but not exactly the same because both of them are played organically. So the swing makes the overall tempo inconsistent, which is a good thing, by the way. You can really notice how the percussion and bass are the same, especially in the beginning, if you do the stereo isolation effect. And it's even weird that I can play them at the same time and it doesn't sound completely off. As we approach the course of Heart 5, the track progressively evolves, having little accent notes and sounds being added to the main piano, perk, bass groove, which end up creating more energy as we reach the climax that is the chorus. And this is the genius part. Some of the added sounds are the same as in the sample. They even appear at the same spot sometimes. And in another section, he used different sounds to play the same melody that the sample sounds are playing. And that's all that I have. 
kind of weird. I don't think there's much to learn from this, but there is a lot to be inspired by. Producing for Kendrick must be crazy. He's the kind of guy that has a legendary producer like Ninth Wonder work on a song and then just have him do a little section of a song because from there he's gonna move the song into a full orchestra section. And I'm pretty sure most producers don't have a full orchestra available to them. But anyway, thanks for watching. Please check my links. Subscribe to keep me motivated. And thanks for all the support.